Eight years later and more arrests in the murder of Florida State University professor Dan Markell. In jail tonight, his former brother-in-law now facing first-degree murder charges in his death. Dan Markell was killed in the driveway of his home in 2014. I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. A grand jury has now indicted Charlie Adelson in Markell's death, the uncle of Dan Markell's two children. ABC 27's Micah Cho joins us live in Tallahassee on this story now. So Micah, how did we get here? Channing Adelson was arrested at his home in Broward County at the center of this investigation and charges and now enhanced 2016 FBI recording. I don't know. If a badge comes up to you, tell them have a nice day, officer. Listen, if they, if they want to charge you something, charge me. If not, I don't talk to cops. Sorry. This FBI footage recorded in 2016 shows Charlie Adelson and Catherine McManawa having a conversation about the investigation into the murder of Florida State University professor Dan Markell in 2014. It has now been enhanced to give investigators a look into a conversation that took place between the two in South Florida. That same video presented to a grand jury. This was on the BBC. You can see the two talking about investigators talking to family members, calling the investigation a scare tactic, and the worldwide news coverage the case has had since 2014. Assistant State Attorney Georgia Kappelman said the enhanced evidence is a big piece of what they needed to help their case. Well, the, the piece of evidence was something that I did think was important, and I've always felt like if we could just get that clarified, that would make a big difference potentially in the case. So I was really happy to have that piece of evidence to present to the grand jury. Fighting to make sure Markell's memory lives on and justice is served in the case, Karen Cyphers. Cyphers is friends with Markell family and part of the group Justice for Dan. Happy now to hear the news of Adelson's arrest. I think these, these cases take time, and I think today's arrest really shows the dedication and perseverance that all of the law enforcement community and prosecutors have had in this case. Uh, time is something that we expect. In addition to first-degree murder charges, Adelson was also indicted on conspiracy to commit murder and solicitation of murder. Now, Cableman says right now she's unclear of how this is going to affect the McBanawa trial coming up for her retrial. For now, live in Tallahassee, Mike Cho, ABC 27.